In the last video, we covered how to use Maximus to adjust the compression, to adjust the gain before and after, as well as to play with some of the bands. Now, I just want to take a step back and give you an example of what Maximus really can do for your song. What is a master track sound like? Why is this so important and why do people spend so much money to try and get this optimal sound? So I'm going to show you this track, this song piece right here, and I'm just going to keep turning Maximus on and off so you can hear the difference. So let's load in Maximus. Now I do want to note for this example, I do have a foodie limiter on. So that's just ensuring that we don't have any peaking above zero decibels. And the only reason I'm doing this is just to show you the difference that Maximus can make when you have a, a limiter afterwards to ensure that the volume doesn't go above zero. So this will be a lot less apparent if you don't have a limiter on. But I just wanted to give you a real clear example of what this can do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load in a preset of Maximus. So here is clear master RMS. And I'm going to start with it off and then I'm going to turn it on and you'll really hear the difference. And I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so you can really hear the difference that mastering can make on a song. So how would you use this? Well, what I recommend you do is apply a preset and then adjust the bands afterwards to your song. So figure out where the hats and the high sounds are, where's your bass located, play around with these to make sure that this is fitting with your instruments. And you can adjust the post and gain depending on where everything else is sitting individually. So this is a way to get you a useful starting point and you can compare some of these. These are definitely worth exploring and seeing which ones work with your song and adjusting those. Um, it's really an, an art and you have to listen with your ears more than with your eyes because these knobs are not going to tell you as much as what your ears will tell you. And this is a real key difference that you'll have when you have better speakers. So this is why some people send off their songs to professional sound engineers to get them mastered professionally. And the difference is that they have the correct equipment so they can really hear the nuances. And I'll show you how to do that in another video. But uh, in this one, I just wanted to give you an idea of what Maximus can do. So here's another feature that comes with Maximus and that's the de section. So this is useful if you have single vocals that have a popping sound or S sounds. And this is annoying explosive sounds that, that come from recording on improper microphones. In other words, ones that don't have the correct pop filter. So you can apply these and what it's going to do is it's going to reduce the frequency range that the P sound to S sounds would normally occur in. So those things are less noticeable. So that's a nice feature that comes with Maximus 2. So you can apply that onto a single vocal track and that will remove the de section. Um, back to mastering though. Maximus and mastering can get quite deep and technical. If you want to explore that, I'm just going to show you some of the documentation available. So this is under question mark or question mark, help index. I type in Maximus. Or you can type in mastering. There'll be a lot of stuff as well. All right? So, but Let's just look at Maximus for now. So there's a few tutorial that, tutorials in the manual that come regarding Maximus, including compression, limiting, parallel compression, sidechain compression, noise gating, ducking, and de -essing. And if you want to explore what Maximus can do into its full potential, definitely check out these resources. Okay, so that should be a nice overview of the power that really comes with Maximus. It's very easy to use. All you have to do is just apply a preset and then tweak it to your song. And it shouldn't even take that long. What you just have to make sure you're doing is listening with your ears rather than your eyes. 
and you should be able to get a nice full sounding master track out of just using Maximus that comes built in with FL Studio.